What's the best way to improve your landscape photography? Well, that comes down to improving your framing and adding depth to your photos. In this video, we'll cover just that. Let's start with framing. There are a few framing techniques that you'll want to consider and perhaps you've heard already of many of them. Number one, the rule of thirds. This technique suggests photographers frame their subject or point of interest on the intersecting lines of a three by three grid. It helps to branch out from centered compositions that many photographers tend to adhere to. If your camera or monitor allows, you can enable the grid to help guide you. Next, there's the golden ratio. This ratio dates back hundreds of years and was first observed by ancient mathematicians who noticed that many aspects of nature reflect this ratio in a way that's pleasing to the human eye. Since then, many creatives of every kind have been using the ratio to compose their work. And lastly, the Fibonacci spiral and ratio. Also dating back hundreds of years, the ratio was famously observed by Italian mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci, who noticed that many aspects of nature reflect this ratio in a way that's pleasing to the human eye. These framing tools help to mix up your compositions and get away from the usual centered composition and over time will help develop your creative eye. Leading lines is a compositional technique that helps draw viewers into your image. As you scout your next landscape photo, look for leading lines in the scene. Think of the story you're trying to tell and more specifically, where you want your viewers to look. If it's a mountain off in the distance, maybe try finding a fence or a road that points in that direction. When approaching your composition, consider perspective and camera angle. Different angles and perspectives convey a different emotion for viewers. A low angle can make a landscape look even more grand. However, objects in the distance can also look a bit smaller. Also experiment with a horizon line that's below or above center of composition, rather than just sticking to a leveled off composition. But do be careful to keep that horizon level, something we talked about in our video, Common Landscape Photography Mistakes to Avoid. Similar to perspective and angles, lens selection should be taken into great consideration since focal length can drastically affect your image. With an ultra wide angle lens, there may be some distortion introduced in the image. So in addition to avoiding that by keeping the camera level, you can incorporate some of those attributes into your photo. For example, you can make objects appear massive so long as the lens is fairly close to them. Yet with the telephoto zoom lens, the compression can make a distant mountain look huge. So distance to subject and focal length can really make a major creative effect on your final image. Lastly, adding depth to your composition is one of the best ways to make it even more visually interesting. Consider each area of your photo, the foreground, middle ground, and background, so that each piece and aspect of it tells the full picture. A few foreground element ideas can be rocks, flowers, a tree, and so much more. Honestly, the possibilities are endless, so just look around your landscape as you get there. Whether you're just starting out and exploring new ways to enhance your landscape compositions, I hope you found these tips helpful. What's your favorite compositional technique? Let us know in the comments. My name is Matt, and thanks for watching. for this.